I pushed myself and challenged myself in ways that I never expected. And going into the ride, I didn't expect that this ride would be as difficult as it was. We're gonna get a feral cat. All right. There, it, it, a ride like this is so funny because there are so many things that I have to, to check off the checklist. Um, short answer, yes, I feel prepared. I feel packed. I feel ready to roll. Uh, but man, oh man. <laughs> Ted is nothing if not exceedingly uh, detail-oriented and his preparation is quite good. He's often helping me prep because I'm sometimes not quite as uh, proactive as he is. So his prep has been, I mean, I think mostly on the gear side, just, uh, you know, loading, making sure his bike is dialed with his bags and his extra bottle cage and all the nutrition, um, I think that's the, the logistics of that is the most complicated part of all this, the pedaling he can, he can do. <laughs> Headlamp, glasses, spare glasses, mask, jersey, spare jersey, undershirt, spare undershirt, bibs, bibs, bibs. Per aspera ad astra. That full expression means through hardship to the stars. And it's a cool expression that Dirty Kansas has seized upon for Dirty Kansas this year, 2020. So we've, we've dubbed this DIY gravel, Dirty Kansas Ad Astra. Uh, fittingly, hopefully, we're gonna be starting under the stars tonight. Independently, the route is about 300 miles on the nose, 31,000 feet of climbing, northern Vermont, southern Vermont. So, you know, it, it, it's taken more homework and legwork than I've put into any other ride. Um, it's taken a, a infinite amount of work on Joe's part. He has gone through literally every plot point, every mile, every turn, every every piece, and so there's a great deal of trust. Fine. To be taken so far out of your comfort zone, to do things at a different timetable, to do things at a different uh, schedule than you're accustomed, which is probably no different than having a kid, I think that is a is a good kick to the butt every now and again. It is insane that Ted rode this route in one day. I, when, I, when I was creating the route, I didn't, I, I never pictured it as a one day ride, but it truly is insane that, that he, rode, he rode in the style that he did. In, in the rain, in the cold, right? Weather here has been great in, in May, except for the weekend that Ted does, does this ride. I'm Joe Cruz. I, teach philosophy, and I've been an adventure cyclist for all my life. I've been playing in the hills of Vermont all my adult life, and there, there's something about the, the, the green rolling hills punctuated by the farmland, right? It's not the cragginess of, of New Hampshire or the, or the rocks of Maine or the lower and beautiful hills of Connecticut. It's, it's not that, it's, it's its own kind of place right, with its own incredible history and culture. And so for me, biking in Vermont is about biking on dirt roads and getting this embrace of trees, right? This, this green hug and meeting great people who are are farmers or working in the general store or have moved to Vermont because they, they love what it stands for. Obviously Dirty Kansas is something that, that is pretty marquee on my calendar every year. So I thought it deserved something bigger than average and this ride is definitely bigger than average. So it's a, it's a challenge to others as much as it's a huge challenge to me. It's, uh, it's, it's something that I've been looking forward to for 
for a little while here now. People challenge themselves, I think, because the project of knowing oneself, of, of trying to, to understand one's own horizons, isn't easy. I had no idea this ride would be so hard. I know I can ride long distance. I know I can ride through adverse conditions. I know I can ride on-road, off-road. I think, I think my uh, an objective expectation, I thought the ride was much more smooth, calm, buffed gravel roads. And right from the get-go, we were riding some pretty wild class four in some pretty wild conditions. I've done 46 miles. Um, yeah, that's pretty savage. I mean, this, just the roads here are, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot hillier and like a lot more class four steep stuff than I had anticipated. He's still actually pushing pretty hard. I'm, he's, uh, say, mental state. I think the weather has taken its toll because um, it's cold, but no, I don't think Ted's, a, he's not a quitter. I think he's gonna do this. So everything from from competition like like DK to getting out on an overnighter on your bike to me seems an expression of of us wanting to understand our own sense of the good and the, what kind of life to live. So that that maybe can sound. Uh, o overly abstract and philosophical, but I think we're all curious about why we're here and, and, and what we can do during that time that we're here. To challenge yourself is to grow, it is to learn, it is to change, it is to break free from misconceptions of what, what you, you know, might otherwise be limiting you. It's a, it's a, I mean, it's a way to, to have fun. I mean, a challenge through good and bad, you're, you're likely gonna come out on the other side a better person. I need like a sixth wind, not a second. Oh man, I'm feeling frustrated. Which I shouldn't. Uh oh, car back. Frustration in the form of 15% hills when I want all downhill. I'm just feeling smoked. But, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna drink. Oh, yawning is always a sign that you might be a little bit smashed. Whew. If you think of the race scene and people that, that you get together with and tell stories among after a competition or, or something that's been challenging, right? That, like that sense of community, which we're missing right now, is an important part of why people ride bikes.
tired. Oh my gosh, I bet. He is um, maybe a little bit emotional at times, but he's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I push myself to places that I've I've never had to do before and just knowing knowing that I could quit and yet I wanted to finish so badly. I mean to have to have a carrot to chase, to have an enormous carrot in this case. To do any point to point ride takes a world of logistics. Um, it could be the simplest and so then let alone do something that expands the, the entire state of the of Vermont. It, it feels very special to complete something like this. You look remarkably in, in good sorts. That was absolutely crazy freaking hard. I cannot even remember the start of this day. Oh. Oh. I need a beer and a nap. Oh. All yesterday I'm thinking, man, once in a lifetime this is it. I'm never going to do this ride again. But given 12 hours of consideration, I think I, think I can be convinced to do it again. plays is when you step in mud you can't get out and I bring my peanut butter pretzels because they're delicious all right this is working goodbye my friends